in the annals of ancient Greece, where gods and mortals mingled beneath the watchful gaze of Olympus, there lived a hero whose name would etch itself into the very fabric of history. Achilles, the peerless warrior born of divine lineage in mortal flesh. Long before his birth, whispers of prophecy danced through the halls of Mount Olympus, foretelling the rise of a champion whose deeds would shape the fate of nations. Thetis, a sea nymph of unrivaled beauty, and Peleus, a mortal king of noble lineage, were destined to be the parents of this legendary figure, their union ordained by the gods themselves. From the moment Achilles drew his first breath, it was clear that he was touched by destiny. His mother, Thetis, sought to protect her son from the frailties of mortality, dipping him into the sacred waters of the river Styx. But in her haste, she overlooked one crucial detail, the heel by which she held him, leaving it vulnerable to the ravages of fate. As Achilles grew, so too did his prowess in battle. Under the tutelage of the wise centaur Chiron, he mastered the arts of war, his every movement a symphony of grace and power. But even as his legend began to spread, so too did the whispers of his inevitable downfall, for it was said that his fate was written in the stars, a tapestry woven by the hands of destiny itself. The call to arms came with the rising of the sun as the flames of war engulfed the city of Troy. The face that launched a thousand ships, Helen, had been stolen away by Paris, and the Greeks, united in their fury, sought retribution. Achilles, drawn by the promise of glory and immortality, answered the call, his heart ablaze with the fires of vengeance. With his Myrmidon warriors at his side, Achilles carved a path of destruction through the ranks of the Trojan defenders. His sword sang with the fury of a tempest, his shield a bastion against the storm of arrows that rained down upon him. Yet, amidst the chaos of battle, a shadow loomed over his triumphs, for the prophecy of his doom hung heavy upon his brow. It was in the heat of conflict that Achilles' pride became his undoing. A feud erupted between him and Agamemnon, the leader of the Greek forces, over a prize of war, the maiden Briseis. In his wrath, Achilles withdrew from the fighting, leaving his comrades to fend for themselves. The Greeks, bereft of their greatest champion, faltered in the face of the Trojan onslaught, their hopes dashed upon the rocks of betrayal. But it was the death of Patroclus, Achilles' dearest companion, that shattered the hero's resolve. Consumed by grief and rage, Achilles swore vengeance upon Hector, the prince of Troy, whose hand had struck down his beloved friend. And so the stage was set for a confrontation that would echo through the ages clash of titans that would shake the very foundations of the world. The duel between Achilles and Hector was a spectacle to behold, a dance of death played out upon the blood-soaked sands of Troy. The gods themselves looked on in awe as the two champions clashed, their swords flashing like lightning in the stormy sky. But even as Achilles emerged victorious, his triumph was short-lived, for the hand of fate reached out to claim him. Paris, guided by the hand of Apollo, let loose an arrow aimed true at Achilles' only vulnerability, his heel, the spot untouched by the waters of immortality. As the poison coursed through his veins, Achilles stumbled, his strength waning with each passing moment. The mighty warrior, brought low by a single arrow, fell to the earth, his lifeblood staining the sands of Troy crimson. And so, the legend of Achilles, the hero of heroes, came to an end. His name immortalized in the annals of history as a cautionary tale of pride, destiny, and the inexorable march of time. But though his body may have been laid to rest, his spirit lives on, a beacon of hope and inspiration for generations yet to come.